In this video, we are going to be looking at getting meta information about tables in a database, and this time we're going to be doing it in Spark and Hive. <clears throat> so we've been discussing more of the meta information with information schema, and as I mentioned, not all databases support information schema. So of course, there are alternatives to getting this information in uh, various platforms, and one of the ones that's uh, becoming more popular with especially Databricks is Spark, especially used heavily in ETL. So let's suppose we want to get information on the tables available available in a database. We're going to be looking at how we can do that, and we're going to be looking at three different ways of doing that, starting with, of course, a SQL example, since many of you are coming from the world of SQL. So if we are in a SQL context in which we can execute SQL, we can simply just do show data tables in database name, and database name, this, under, uh, this uh, bolded, underlined, here is whatever your database name is. And we'll see that the output is going to come out with the database, the table name, and is temporary. So that is the information that's provided here. So keep this in mind. It does show us our database, it does show us our tables, and it does tell us if it's temporary. You'll notice this doesn't tell us more information, right? So keep that in mind. We're not getting the columns or anything like that here, okay? If we're doing this in Python, now I'm assuming both here in the Python and Scala examples, we are creating a new session. If we already have a session open, we'll just simply call that session with .sql and then we execute the SQL statement. You'll see the SQL statement is uh, the same as it is up here, right? But in this case, in both the Python case and in the Scala case, we see that we're creating a new session. We're then executing the SQL. In the Python case, we're doing show here. And then, of course, in the Scala case, we're doing display here. Uh, both of those you can execute in Databricks as well. And, of course, Databricks is available in Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud Platform. I do not believe that Databricks is available in Yandex Cloud yet. But as we see, there's three different ways in which you can do that, uh, SQL being the most straightforward way. 